Hi and welcome Aries, Rose Burnett here, Mind Body Soul Balance. This is your mid-month tarot forecast for February 2021. Now it is a general reading, so it's trust yourself what resonates, believe what does not. If you're brand new to my channel, big welcome. Awesome to have you here. If you like what you see, hit the subscribe button. You'll get more great content from me. And for those who regularly follow my channel, you're rocking awesome. Love your support. Now, if you'd like to get the extended version of this reading, it includes a, a love forecast for Valentine's Day and for the rest of the uh, second half of the month, as well as your general energies and higher guidance from spirit. So if you want to click straight through to that, you can just hit the join button on my channel. I'll also put the extended video link in the very first uh, line of the description box here. So if you want to access that right now, just click that and it'll take you through. Uh, there's a small monthly fee and every month you get the membership perks, which is the extended readings on my channel and they will always come out first before the free readings. So if you want to get access to those, go and check it out. And if you'd like to stay connected with me, uh, I'm on Instagram. I'll pop my Instagram handle up here. I do a lot of daily motivation, inspiration over there. So come and say hi. If you enjoy the Oracle, the tarot decks I use in my readings, I'll list them down below for you. You can also find them in my online crystal shop. There's a special running at the moment. You get 30% off everything in the crystal shop, including crystals, crystal jewelry, and the Oracle cards. Yeah. So I'll pop that link up here in terms of the coupon code and all the info down below. And if you'd like a personal reading with me, they are open. I do them a couple of days a week. They're deeply transformational. Include the questions you'd most like answered. I meditate on your past life energies in terms of your Akashic record, your current energies, as well as your chakra balance. We have a look at that. And uh, also have a look at your general energies and higher guidance from spirit. So if you feel like you need a personal reading, reach out. I'll pop a link on here as well as down below. So let's get started with your reading, Aries. And we're going to do some predictions with the beautiful Muse Tarot. And uh, we're going to pull five cards and then some clarifiers and some uh, messages from Spirit. What is it Aries needs to know in the next second half of, uh, we'll say the second half, because anyway, when you're watching this, yeah, February. Time is always fluid. Um, you've got the page of materials, so, and she's got a bit of a flower bud sitting on her head, yeah. And it's growing into a full rose. So it's very much making progress, putting effort in to create uh, material wealth, abundance in your life, the things you're working on in terms of your career. Yeah, um, It's also a message that you make a lot of effort and then you've still got to wait for it to grow and gestate and be patient. Yeah. You've got the nine of voices. So some of you may be experiencing some sleepless nights, some anxiety going on, some worry going on. Various. This is a very peaceful sleep, so we'll see what's coming out with that. You've also got the two of materials, which is very much a bit of a juggling act going on. Uh, your things may be very busy at this time. It's very much about what do you want to focus on? You know, wherever you focus your energy, your time, your attention is where you're going to get the results. So it's being very clear about your goals, your direction. Not doing too much at once. You've got the muse of inspiration. Yeah, it's very much about balance. Um, it's the it's the king in this deck. Yeah, she's got fire coming out of her hands. She's very reflective. There's a big connection between the universe as well as being grounded to earth. Um, there's a lot of balance here, but the muse of inspiration can represent somebody who speaks their truth, works with integrity, um, takes action, go after their goals and dreams, making them a reality. It can talk of looking at things, big picture view. You might want to create something on a world scale, um, global. It's, um, yeah, it's very much about leadership, Power, um, but also leading with your integrity and truth. Yeah. When it comes out, it can also ask you to stop thinking small and think a bit bigger. Yeah. Uh, you've also pulled the death card, which means transformation, rebirth going on. Uh, you may have gone through something challenging. I mean, you've got the nine of voices here. And it's like a moth is emerging, yeah. So it's very much, so things may be falling away from your life at this time. But it's going to create this beautiful sense of brand new beginnings, transformation. Yeah, so 
Don't bite it. All right, let's put you some clarifiers. First up, we're having a look at the page of materials. Clear guidance for Aries, please. Let's have a look at the Nine of Voices, which speaks to your emotions. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Too many, my loves. Too many. Clear guidance. Thank you. Let's have a look at the two of materials, which is very much about getting very clear about what it is you want to focus on. And the muse of inspiration, very fiery, passionate energy, big dreams, big goals. And the death card, yeah, rebirth, transformation going on. Thank you. So first up, we're having a look at the page of materials, which is making progress, putting a lot of effort in, action in to create what you want. Uh, you've got the star card, which is a beautiful renewed sense of optimism, positivity. Um, it can come after a uh, sense of loss or disappointment. So it's renewed sense of positivity, optimism moving forward. You've also got the nine of inspiration. She's very powerful, yeah? Um, a lot of gorgeous energy there. So... It's very much about putting healthy boundaries around oneself in terms of your time, your energy, that final push forward to create success in your life, um, make things happen. She's very strong. Yeah, very strong. Maybe you're a guy or a girl. And let's have a look at the nine of voices, which is pretty much get being in your head a bit, yeah? Um, worry, anxiety going on, sleepless night. You've also got the five of voices. So... It speaks to looking at things in a different way, um, leading with compassion. There's three, three or four people sitting in the middle here, so it can work. It can mean how are you creating also the path you want to be on? Are you being acting from integrity, from a place of compassion for others, taking others' needs into consideration versus walking all over the top of them yeah, in terms of trying to get what you want, particularly in your career? It's a very measured, um, compassionate approach to your goals, your dreams. Uh, you've got the seven of materials, yeah, and she's laying down roses on a pathway, which means there's a lot here speaking about progress being made. So you're champing at the bit. Spirit's saying that things are working, but it's taking a little bit of time, yeah? Got to allow for it to gestate. You've also got the lover's card. So there's a soulmate connection here, or one coming towards you. You may not see it yet. You can speak to brand new beginnings in love, new love. Um, she's got her head down and he's looking down, yeah? So they're all looking in different directions, but they're, you're drawing soulmates together, yeah? Let's have a look at the two of materials, which is a lot going on, needing to find some focus. Yeah, you've got the aid of inspiration. I love this card when it comes out, yeah? It's like she's charging forward through any blockages and uh, nothing's going to stop her, just moving forward, yeah? And you've got the three of inspiration. This is your third message coming out. I mean, it's a domino effect, yeah? Whatever effort you make is going to be rewarded in kind. But again, it speaks to things just starting out, just growing. Oh, this is beautiful. This is where it's leading you to. Yeah, you've got the six of inspiration. It's got a star sitting on the top of the head. Um, a lot of celebration uh, for your success, achievement coming your way, all the effort you're making. This is where you're headed, Aries, yeah? Very beautiful energy. Can also mean public recognition. Let's have a look at the Muse of Inspiration, which is kind of an important energy in your reading, I feel, Aries. Um, beautiful fire energy, passionate energy, doing things on a big picture scale. Mm. Come out with a Knight of Inspiration. Gorgeous, gorgeous energy. So there's a horse here with his mane on fire. Great big firework above him, yeah? Um, it's like charging forward, this amazing energy to charge forward with your goals, your dreams, take an action, not letting anything stop you, just going forward. Uh, you've also got the tower here. Yeah? So there's a tower moment going on. You've got the death card. There's something certainly leaving your life. 
Um, it can be an old way of being. Um, maybe in the past things you've let worry, other people's expectations be on top of you and you're literally just going enough is enough. Aries is going like, I'm going after what I want. Um, leaving anything behind that doesn't serve you, taking with you what is dear to you, important to you and just moving forward, yeah. Because you've got the queen of materials and this is so beautiful, yeah. She's self-made. She's proud of what she's achieved, whether you're a guy or a girl. Um, wealth, prosperity, success. It's where it's leading you, but things are in gestation right now, yeah. Beautiful charging energy going forward. Let's have a look at the death card, which is all about rebirth and transformation. You've got the muse of emotions. I'm going to say to you, Aries, you need to come into this place. So the muse of emotions is like it's another king, yeah. It's this very balanced, watery state. Um, a lot of peace, harmony, contentment. Tapped into your intuition, being in flow with who you are. So gorgeous. And you've got the world, the cosmos, yeah, which means everything's going to come full circle. Um, Spirit saying, don't worry about it. Everything's coming full circle. Um, the cosmos can represent success, achievement, celebration, end of a cycle in your life, beginning of a new one, new cycle of manifestation. Gorgeous energy is coming through. All right, let's pull you some uh, angel healing messages. What is it that uh, Aries needs to know at this time? Uh, you pulled Archangel Michael. He's always about protection, yeah? He says, the path is now clear. I have removed all obstacles in your way. You can now move forward with ease and confidence. You will achieve your heart's desires. So in tune with your reading. Mm -hmm. And you've also pulled courage. Yeah, You have what it takes. Just do it. We, your angels, are here to support you. Oh, so tapped into spirit. Well, they're tapped into you right now. And healing. I am the angel of healing. I am with you right now. Feel my presence and my unwavering love for you. I have loved you before the dawn of time and I will love you for all eternity. Oh, your angel spirit guide surrounding you right now. Kind of beautiful. I think that goes beautifully with the tower moments going on. You know, death, rebirth, emotional stuff you're going through right now. Very gorgeous. And uh, I can pull you an energy from the wisdom of the hidden realms. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Yes, it is. Uh, you pulled the High Lady of Compassion, love and compassion. Um, very much about kindness, consideration. It's your second message about this in your reading. It can very much speak to, um, did I show it to you? <laughs> Better show it to you, yeah. Um, Treating yourself with kindness and compassion, starting with forgiveness for self, yeah, that can then radiate out into your life. Whatever you do in terms of service orientated towards others is to appreciate the benefit of everyone, yeah, whether they're completely different to you. Everyone has value. Um, how you treat people in your path is super important. Spirit's always watching. Yeah, spirit's always watching. Um, there's a lot here about your success. Spirit's saying just be careful how you create that success in your life. Do it with integrity, honesty, love, compassion. Um, don't let frustration and things not happening quite so fast impact how you feel about yourself, how you treat others. Just be mindful of that. Um, there's so many blessings that want to come your way. It's going to be self-made, Aries. You know, you can do this. You always do this. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's so beautiful. Um, you're heading towards this, yeah, being a star. Mm -hmm. And this gorgeous, gorgeous energy of prosperity, abundance coming your way. So in terms of um, those are your messages for those of you watching the free reading, going forward, we're going to have a look at um, this tower moment, yeah, in terms of the general energies coming through, this beautiful energy to push through and just do that final push towards your goals, your dreams. And I do love, I do love the star card coming through, yeah, in terms of the six of inspiration, star on top of the head and the queen of inspiration, that beautiful place you want to get to, yeah. And um, we're also going to put Archangel Michael here, all about your blockages clearing, um, which is very, coming through very strongly in your reading. Um, in terms of the extended, we're going to go and have a look quite a lot into love forecast as well as your general energy. So if you want to get that now, hit the join button or the link that's in the top of the description box below. For those of you uh, leaving, beautiful that you're here in terms of the free reading. Always appreciate it. If you loved it, 
put your comments down below. Uh, reach out for a personal reading if you feel like you need one. And for now, I'll say goodbye to you. And for those of you going through into watching the extended or you're already in the VIP members area, we're going to continue. So Aries, we're going to kick off with love. We've got beautiful Valentine's Day coming up, depending on when you're watching this and pulling you an opening message in terms of love from the Lover's Oracle. And uh, this is for those of you, whether you're single, looking for love, you're in a relationship, um, thinking about somebody. One so wants to come out. If you have a look at that, she's deeply reflective. She's also got a few tears happening. There's a butterfly here, quite a few butterflies here, which represent transformation, new beginnings. Ah, oh, yeah, it says reflection. Give each other some space at the moment, trust, and have faith that all will work out for the best. Wow, kind of speaks that there might be something going on in your love relationship, so you just need to give each other a little bit of space and time, you know. Those of you in a relationship, could be something new. All right, let's put some guidance from the Romance Angel Oracle. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? In terms of love. Oh, okay. You got a message straight off the bat, got me right in the heart chakra, is to release your ex, right? Some of you need to clear your energy. Um, and don't forget in your predictions, you had that soulmate energy coming through to you. So those of you single spirits saying to let that love in, you've got to release the past. The attachments related to that. You've also got the message to let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. So don't try and push, force, chase. Just go with the flow. Yeah, and Spirit's saying you absolutely deserve love, Aries. You're absolutely lovable. Um, that's about building up your sense of self-love, self-worth. And... Uh, You've got your feelings are real and worth exploring. So if there's someone you're interested in, spirit saying just to follow up on that, yeah? Sometimes people have to know that you're interested in them. And you've got finances and career affecting your love life right now, which means there may need to be a bit more of a focus on your finances and career. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, whenever we want to draw a beautiful love relationship to us, we want to make sure that our lives are in balance, yeah? What else does Aries need to know? Yeah, there's a lot coming through. Those of you that need to release an ex, Spirit's saying you've got to love yourself first, yeah? It's going to draw that romance to you, which is what I just mentioned, being in balance, a lot of self-love, self-nurturing, self-care. Knowing you deserve a beautiful love relationship. You've also got the message to decide what you want so it comes to you soon. So that's about manifesting what you want, putting out to the universe. Well, what do I want my partner to look like to... What are the qualities I want to attract to me in terms of the relationship? Yeah, Spirit's asking you to put it out to the universe, yeah? Which is all about the law of attraction. And you've also got let your friends help you. So going out with your friends, leaning on your friendships, connecting with your friendships. I've got to say a lot of this reading is for those of you that are single. It's coming through very strongly. Yeah, <laughs> to say that. Spirit's saying get your flirt on. Extend your light-hearted energy to others directly related to those of you that got feelings for someone or there's someone you've got your eye on or just generally get your flirt on. Mm -hmm. uh, you've also got the attraction card, which is um, being in the present moment, watching your vibration so that you can just focus on you as well. Yeah, what makes you happy? Whenever you're happy, right, and you kind of let go of a lot of expectations around love, you'll naturally draw people to you, yeah. Um, focusing on you, so directly under your finances in Korea. All right, let's put some guidance from the uh, Angel Answers Oracle. What is it Aries needs to know at this time, particularly in relation to love? You've got the message to compromise. Yeah, there's the balance of scales here. So in your love relationships, it's about being very balanced between your needs and the other person's needs, yeah? Sometimes perhaps when this card comes out, it can go either way. So perhaps you're not getting your needs met in relationships, you're giving too much, or you're a bit, there's too much control going on. You might be applying control to situations, yeah?
whenever we come from a place of control, it's about vulnerability and insecurity. You know? You've got a timeline. A year from now, there'll be this beautiful love connection, love relationship. It doesn't mean it's going to take a year for it to come in. But the, in terms of a consolidated partnership, Spirit's saying a year. Again, you got the message to ask for help from others, directly related to letting your friends help you. It can also be about asking your angels, your spirit guides, for drawing a soulmate to you. Wow. And some of you have got a great big fat no here. Super interesting. Okay, so let me give you one message and then we'll pull some clarifiers. Some of you got your eye on someone. You're not sure if they're into you or not. Spirit's saying flirt and find out. And Spirit's saying it's going to be unrequited. So just keep an open mind. Keep your heart open. Don't get that crushed by that, yeah? Oh, plenty more fish in the sea, darling. Mm -hmm. Let's see what else comes out. They're saying if you believe, which means you've just got to put your positive vibrations out there that you're going to draw a beautiful soulmate to you. Why is the no here? Any other guidance on the no? Yeah, Spirit's saying just get more information. Some of you are thinking about someone and Spirit's saying not that way, darlings. Um, but you'll soon find out, yeah. For others, there's improving health going on. So some of you, there's a bit of a timeline. So Spirit, when this card comes out, you've also got finances and career. It means that there's just... Some time issues going on at the moment, divine timing. Spirit's saying some of you need to sort out finances and career and others are going through a bit of health recovery, yeah? Which means Spirit's not going to send you a soulmate, right, until you're ready. Yeah, here it is, yeah? Perfect timing going on. Oh, yeah. Anything else that uh, Aries needs to know? Mm. Some of you have got reconsider. You've also got to release your ex. So you may have an ex coming back to you, asking you to come back. You may be reconsidering it. Um, we'll see what else comes out in terms of looking backwards at the past. Yeah, definitely speaking to romance, yeah. Mm, Spirit's saying let go. Let go of that connection. You've got it right at the beginning. Um, which means that you may be doing a little bit of daydreaming, stuck in illusions as to why it broke up in the first place. We can always put rose-tinted glasses on once we've left a relationship and not remember why you left it in the first place, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, next up, Aries, we're going to have a look at your general energies. And in fact, before we do that, I'm going to pull you some soulmate energy cards. Soulmate messages, what is it Aries needs to know about love at the moment? Yeah. It says, Aries, life is constantly changing, yet at its core it remains the same. Love does not change, it only grows stronger. Change is simply love unfolding. It's a never-ending story. Kind of a beautiful message. Got two here. It says, love overcomes all obstacles. A change in attitude is all it takes to turn things around. Trust in love's power. It will transform you and the one you love. All will soon clear. Some of you may be going through a bit of difficulties, yeah? And it says, even from a physical perspective, some relationships may seem less than perfect. From a higher perspective, all relationships are sacred for they each help us grow in love and wisdom, um, which is very much it's very true. Yeah, whatever steps on your path you go for in terms of love, it always helps us grow, progress, transform, yeah? All right, next up, let's have a look at your general energies. And uh, don't forget, we have a focus on the tower moment, things that are leaving your life, things you're taking with you, this beautiful, gorgeous energy of strength, and it's a nine of inspiration, yeah? Putting boundaries around yourself, around your time and energy, that last push forward towards your goals, your dreams. This beautiful, beautiful energy, six of inspiration, um, speaks of everything coming together for you. Yeah, rites of passage, recognition, celebration, success, achievement. Big star sitting above your head. Mm -hmm, just saying. And the queen of materials, which is this beautiful self-made prosperity, abundance, gorgeous strength around her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that spirit's trying to remove all obstacles out of your path right now. So we're going to pull you some uh, key energies in terms of focus for the second half of February. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Yeah, you've got the message to be gentle with yourself. 
um, self-nurturing, self-care, self-pampering activities, love, compassion towards self at this time. What else does Aries need to know? There's two then. You've got expansion, which is kind of was all through your reading. It was to look at things from, I mean, there's a lot of beautiful, if I bring it closer, right, there's a lot of air balloons there. Um, looking at things from a big picture view, bigger goals than what you're doing, spirit saying, don't have a small vision, have a bigger vision. Um, you're totally capable of it, spirit saying, totally capable of it because it's come out with the culmination of vision. Yeah, everything you've been working on coming together. It's just a final push that needs to happen. Beautiful butterflies, yeah, new beginnings, transformation. Clues and guidance from the uh, energy oracle. What is it Aries needs to know in the second half of February? Yeah, you've got the angel of balance. So Spirit is saying you just need to bring yourself into this beautiful place of balance. Absolutely take action to move yourself forward. No sitting on your laurels. Got to move forward. Yeah, Spirit's saying there's lots of doors you can open, Aries. Which door do you want to open? What do you want to focus your energy on, your time on? Yeah. And you got the door to personal healing and happiness opening. So for some of you, that's going to be physical healing and recovery. It can be emotional healing. Um, there's a lot of freedom there. Leaving the past behind, releasing heavy burdens on yourself. And again, just to, you've got appreciation here. Yes, you stop to pause, smell the roses. Appreciate your own divinity, how amazing you are. Love yourself, yeah. You've also got having a strategy and a plan. Really solid plan on moving forward, Aries. Spirit's saying do it when you're in a state of balance, yeah, because it's sitting under the angel of balance. And to rely on your strength at this time and move yourself forward, take action. And very much trust your intuition on what you want to, which door you want to open, what do you want to go after. Whenever that card comes out, it's very much about whatever we choose to be in flow with ourselves, not going against our flow, doing things that are meaningful passion that we're passionate about yeah um yeah because some of you are feeling a little bit tied up and stuck right now it's indirectly under the door to personal healing and happiness which means you need to release yourself from that state yeah because you've got an attachment here holding yourself stuck we a little guidance on that what is it aries needs to know they're saying you've got blossoming abundance. So some of you are telling yourself that it's not working when in fact Spirit's saying that there's just time, divine timing going on. Everything's gestating. Everything's in progress. Keep taking action. And this attachment. Mm. For some of you, you've got your vitality here, your solar plexus. So some of you are trying to do stuff right, but you're really tired and exhausted. Your vitality is not what it should be. There's something affecting your health and well-being. You need to build it up. Be very present, gentle with yourself. Allow yourself that time, spirit saying. For others, the worry, the anxiety is affecting your health and well-being. Watch that. Mm -hmm. Please some guidance with the goddess guidance deck. Goddess guidance deck. I said that a little funny just then, didn't I? Mm -hmm. You've got the fairness card, yeah, which is all about justice. So karmic justice coming in. So if you're worrying about something, if there's a situation you're going through in terms of legal things around career, jobs, um, with anyone in terms of that, spirit saying it's going to be handled in a fair and just manner. You just need to act with integrity and do whatever you need to do. Particularly those of you going through a tower moment, yeah. Uh, you've got Ishul Medicine Woman. Some of you have divine healing powers within you, particularly energy healing. You've got Rihanna Sorceress, which is the magician card in this deck. Spirit saying you're ready, got everything you need to move forward, Aries. Directly related to trusting yourself and opening the doors you want to open. And you've got Maeve, Cycles and Rhythms. Very much about listening to your emotions, your energy levels, taking time out when you need to. Directly related to your health and well-being. Message, please, for Aries. Thank you. Yeah, 
You've got Ishta boundaries. There's a need to put healthy boundaries around yourself, particularly around your time, your energy, directly related to your vitality. Not doing too much for everyone else. All right, let's put some guidance with the crystal reading decks. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? you got new might healer. So it's related to being in balance. Some of you may need to seek a healer around physical ailments, yeah, um, to bring yourself into balance. I'm not going to say emotionally because I think you're pretty capable of sorting your own emotions out and bringing them into balance. But some of you need physical healing. For others, this can be a life path, confirmation of that, that you have healing abilities. Because you've got late, this is a little bit past life coming up. Um, it's in directly under energy healing. So there's past life gifts and talents emerging here. Sometimes it can just mean that your any attachments you just keep recycling through stuff from the past, but there's only a small amount of that coming through, to be honest with you. I mean, some of you need to release an X for sure. That's coming through. Um, be very flexible with timelines. Have patience um, with anything you're trying to create right now. And some of you need to do some heart healing, some emotional healing, directly related to the door to personal healing and happiness opening. And uh, you've got the Herkimer Diamond, your dreams, following up on your goals and dreams, believing in them. You may get subliminal messages through your dreams. All right, let's pull some guidance from the messenger, Oracle. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? You've got love without condition, right? Which means people don't need to meet fixed expectations, particularly in love relationships, for you to give them love, yeah? Being very open and generous with your love. Particularly your family, your friendships, your children. Speak to partners. And surrender to the flow, yeah? Um, going with the flow, not fighting against it, not being impatient, not trying to push things, just go with the flow. Can also speak to you being in flow with who you naturally are. Any other guidance there for Aries? Thank you. Oh, this is gorgeous. And love that you are different. You do not have to change to fit in, to be loved, to be accepted by others. It's just about accepting all parts of self. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pull you a crowning energy from the Blue Angel. Oracle. What is it Aries needs to know at this time? Thank you. Oh, wow. This is beautiful. You've got the wings of light. Positive news coming your way. Oh, hello. Let's pull you up the guidance. It says Aries. A positive result or joyful message arrives and brightens your day. Once you receive it, you may want to pause for a moment to reflect on the people and things that matter most to you. Thank the universe for these gifts of love. Friends, family, community, country, world, universe. Is it not all important? Is it not all a blessing? And uh, there's an affirmation here that says, The universe is inside you for you are the luminous essence from which all stems. Let us give thanks for this eternal blessing and great mystery. Oh, something pretty fabulous is coming your way. Mm -hmm. Could be something you've been waiting on. And before you go, I'm going to pull you a few more messages from Spirit. Yeah. What is it Aries needs to know before they go? Ah, oh, wow. You've pulled precious gift. It says friendship, family and love are precious gifts. Do not lose sight of what's important. Um, goes very ha much hand in hand with unconditional love, yeah. And you've also pulled wisdom. It says everything has a place and purpose. To be wise is to have great love, tolerance and compassion for all things. Others, including yourself. Let's pull you one more. And... Uh, you have the blue angel, again, Archangel Michael coming through, yeah. He says, I am here by your side. I am all around you and I will forever protect you. Remember this whenever you feel fearful. I love you. All is well. Oh, so beautiful to end your reading. All right, 
Aries, those are your messages for the second half of February 2021. Thank you so much for being in the VIP members area. You totally rock. Uh, reach out if you feel like you need a personal reading. Connect with me on Instagram. Come and say hi. Love to hear your feedback, your comments below on how you enjoyed this. And for now, take care. Much love, much light. Namaste. Mm -hmm.